everybody, Dr. Leo Prowitz, healthy feet, podiatry. Coban. You know what this is for? This is a tourniquet. Um, we use our Coban as a tourniquet. Um, and I've got a special case today. This is a hammer toe. I guess you would call it a hammer toe. We say it's a hammer toe because the toe is upward. It's not perfectly straight. And when you have a hammer toe like this, when you walk and you load your foot, the end of the toe hits the, the shoe and the nail can become permanently damaged. And that's what's happened here. We have a nail that's permanently thickened and there is some fungus in it. If you look close, Alexia, take a look right here. Take a look at the nail, see that? That's permanently, that, that has fungus under the nail and it's permanently damaged. So um, this patient has been cutting this nail for years. She's sick of it. She wants it gone. She wanted me to just cut her toe off. I told her, no, that's too radical. Let's just take the nail and that should be it. So we're gonna take the whole nail off of there. And that's actually a great solution. But the first four weeks, it's sore because it's hitting the end of the toe when she's in a shoe. So if she tries to wear a shoe these first four weeks, it's gonna be a little tender because it's gonna be a little bit raw. But this is a great solution permanently because the tissue will harden up underneath and she won't have to worry about cutting that nail or that nail constantly getting hit on the end of the shoe, bleeding under the nail and getting a hematoma, which is a collection of blood under the nail. So I already numbed her up. I gave her a shot here and here. And guess what time it is? It's hammer time. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't that funny, was it? <laughs> That's way too old of a reference. Who's saying, let's see, hammer time. That was, um, was it LL oh, Cool J? Who's saying it? MC Hammer. MC Hammer. Hammer. Oh, I yeah. think an Hammer time, yeah. MC Hammer. The patient's whispering. You don't have to whisper up there, actually. You can talk. <laughs> Nobody can see you. They can only hear you. MC Hammer. Okay. So we put our tourniquet on, our Coban, and now we are going to open this up so we can see what is going on here and get this nail off. The reason we don't do the sides of the nail, she had an ingrown nail and told me that the, it was an ingrown nail hurting. We don't do the sides of it because you need at least one centimeter of nail. And one centimeter is about the width of her nail. Um, so if you took out the sides of the nail here, she'd have this little sliver in the middle, that would be a problem too. So we just do the whole nail. So she should be done, we're gonna test her. Any screaming? Any no, pain? No screaming. Good, good, good. <laughs> you feel anything or just pressure there? Just pressure. Okay. So I'm going under the epinicium, that's right here at the cuticle level. And I'm actually pushing against the nail when I do this. This is kind of my guide. So I don't um, go through anything else. And I'm trying to do as little bit of trauma as possible to this nail bed. For me, what works best is really the flip. I like doing that back flip because I can back flip it and, and then I can actually um, go against the nail itself, not the nail bed. That way I'm doing little trauma to the nail. I had a patient of another doctor in town recently where they actually went under the bed and it was down to bone. And I mean, there was bone exposed because what they did is they did the, whenever they were trying to free up the nail, they freed up actually the periosteum and they took the entire layer of tissue off of the top of the bone. So there was just exposed bone there. And it's gonna take that patient probably three months or more to heal in. So. Here I am right here underneath the nail. And I can actually, if you look, I can actually pull it with this. You can see I don't even need to do anything. All I did was follow the contour of that nail. And you can see, look closely, there really shouldn't be much damage to the nail bed. Let's focus in on that. Can you get it under focus? There we go. Let's see if we get closer. How close can you get? Wow, very cool. Okay, so that's what it looks like underneath the nail bed. Very little trauma. Now we're gonna take that off of there. We can let it hang for a second because it's kind of cool looking to see that. It's like when you flip your eyelid backwards. I'm doing that right now. I'm gonna flip my eyelids back. You ready? Put the put the camera on me. Show it. Show my eyelids. With the no, hemostat. I'm, I'm not really gonna do it. I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. So let's pull this off, and you can see this comes off really easily. That's it. That's the whole nail right there. Nice big chunk. Let me show the patient so she can go. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Isn't cool. That cool? Pretty cool. Huh? <laughs> That's and then when it's far away, it looks smaller, doesn't it? Not wow. that big. But you know what? This is great. She's going to get a ton of relief. This little guy was causing a lot of pain. Um, and you can see just from the thickness of it. Look when you look wow. straight on. 
You see that straight on? See? Is it as big as my teeth? It oh. is. Yeah? <laughs> All right. And so now we're going to kill the nail matrix. The nail matrix is the area where the nail grows from. So we're going to put this chemical right here under the epinichium. And we're going to kill the nail matrix. I'm just kind of moving it around here. It's usually 10 seconds per stick. Um, if you do too much, sometimes you get a little bit of a severe reaction to the chemical and it takes a little bit longer to heal. But this will heal pretty quickly. And because the, the size of the nail is so small compared to like the big toe, um, it won't be that painful for you. Okay. You'll, you can take like three Advil three times a day if you really need to. And then extra strength Tylenol in between if it's severe pain. Okay. But most people, you might take three Advil once or twice the entire time this is healing and that's probably it. Okay. So we're gonna do one more stick here. This is the chemical that killed the, the nail cells and all we're doing is killing it so she won't grow a toenail. And it's great when these heal in, these look really good too because this area, see where it's white right here on the nail bed? That area right there is um, is gonna just kind of pink up like skin. And, and, and if you're standing at a distance, just standing up and looking down at the tub, she were wearing sandals. Mm -hmm. Most people aren't going to even know you're missing a nail mm -hmm. okay. unless you point it out. So um, most people are not staring at your feet unless they're in the field. Right. And they're, very true. Or they have a weird foot fetish. <laughs> Got a fetish, yeah. There's a lot of people like that. Only in Florida that happens. <laughs> the people with the weird foot fetishes, they leave the northern part of the United States and they come down to Florida so they can look at people in sandals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, only in Florida. I have heard. Wasn't there, there was an episode on um, Big Mouth. If you've been watching Big Mouth. Yes, yes, yes there was. Yes, the Florida episode, season three, episode five, I think. With the Lakeland. Very funny, yes, yes. with Lakeland, Florida. <laughs> Very true about Florida. Okay, that's it. Nail's gone, we're gonna wrap her up. The wrapping part's not there. Well, maybe it is cool, let's, let's wrap her up. Let's see how cool this is. Uh, let's wrap it up. Might as well. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't shown the wrapping in a while. So let's take this off of her. Let me find my leading edge here. Do we see the leading edge? Here it is. So we're going to unwrap it and then we're going to put some silvidine. Um, let me just put a lump of silvidine cream. You can see there wasn't much bleeding there. Put a big lump there. We're going to wrap it up. She'll take this off tomorrow. She's gonna clean it with soap and water and a washcloth, or she can take her Q-tip if she really wants to get in there. She puts the Q-tip um, on the nail bed and just kind of scrubs it with some soap on it and then puts some Neosporin, just like I did, and a Band-Aid. She does not need to do a big wrapping like this, but she can put gauze around it if she decides that she wants to wear closed-in shoes or needs to wear closed-in shoes for work. Um, she'll put the gauze for padding and then she can do anything she wants. So we are in Florida, so it is nice. Actually, right now it's been 80 degrees. If she wants to go swimming, you can go swimming too. Wow. That's great, yeah. Good. Go swimming, and you'll be able to swim a little bit faster. So <laughs> a, a little bit of weight off you, a couple of grams of weight yes. off of you. So you should be able to go just a tiny bit faster if you're in any kind of swimming competition this week. Um, but anyway, you can get a wet, just clean it afterwards. So that's the great thing with this procedure. You can get a wet, you can go to the beach, you can do all that stuff. Even though stuff gets caught in there, she's not really going to do any damage as long as she keeps it clean and puts an antibiotic ointment on there. So that's it. Bye-bye. Camera time's <laughs> over. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Go to Instagram to see real short clips, at Healthy Bee Podiatry. But definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great videos. Hit that button that says subscribe because you'll get notifications. When we do new videos, we usually do one or two new ones a week, sometimes more. We've got some great surgical videos coming up too. And we'll see you soon. Thanks.